Hello everyone, our today's question is, if a person A starts from town X at any time between 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., and then walks towards the town Y on a straight road with the constant speed of 4 km per hour, it's given. So this velocity is given as 4 km per hour. Now B person starts from Y town at any time between 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. And walks towards the town X with the same speed, 4 km per hour, it's given. Assuming that all the times of the starting are equally likely, then we have to find the odds in favor of the meeting on the way. So before calculating the odds, we need to calculate the probability that when they're going to meet in between. If they are meeting in between, we have to calculate the probability. Once we get the probability, we can calculate odds in favor. So first, let's understand the problem. Let's say a town X is here. And let's say here is a town that is town Y. The person A starts from town X and travels towards the town Y in a straight line like this. And the person B will travel towards the town X. The distance between both of the towns is 4 km is given. So this distance is 4 km. Let's say A is traveling towards town Y and B is traveling towards town X. They are given that one more information that assuming the times of starting are all equally likely. So let's say I'm saying X is the time at which A leaves and Y is the time at which B leaves. So let's say you take any combination here. X is equal to let's say 1.30 p.m. And let's say you take Y is equal to 1.31 p.m. In one hour. Uh, first of all, in one hour, how much they're going to travel? In one hour, they're going to travel four kilometer. Okay, because if they are traveling with the speed of four kilometer per hour, in one hour they're going to travel four kilometer. If A leaves at one thirty and Y leaves at one thirty one, for sure they're going to meet in between. But if you take the timestamp as a sample space point, then how many points are there? Because if you're taking one point three zero, I can take one point three zero zero one. Now next point if you will be taking you will be taking 1.3002 so there will be infinite time span timestamp point in between okay and similarly same goes for y so if you apply this definition probability that the favorable upon total if you calculate the sample space sample space is infinity because infinite timestamps are possible at which x and y like sorry a and b meets in between uh, the two towns now we are going to solve this through a unique way okay so let's say, first of all, let's focus on the logic. If X leaves, let's say if X leaves at, uh, I'm giving you some few points. Let's say X is leaves at 1 p.m. And Y leaves at, uh, one example, Y leaves at, let's say, 3 p.m. Now, please tell me, is this possible combination? I don't think it's possible combination because the time X A is starting at 1 p.m. Now, he needs one hour to reach Y because in one hour he's going to travel four kilometer and that is the distance between the towns. So this is not possible. Let's say I'm giving you one more combination that is uh, A leaves at 1 p.m. and Y leaves at let's say 2.30 p.m. Again, at this point it's not possible because at 2 p.m. X is going to reach. So this is also not possible. So let's say I'm taking here X is equal to 1 p.m. and Y is equal to I'm taking here 2.10 p.m. And I don't think this is also possible because at 2 p.m. X will reach Y and after 10 minutes B is going to leave at 2.10. So this is not also not possible. Let's say this combination 1 p.m. and Y is equal to if I take any probability here, sorry, uh, value here. So Y I'm taking here, let's say 150 p.m. So yes, this is possible because he, A needs at least one hour to reach Y and B is going to start at 1.50. So 10 minutes earlier, so they're going to meet here in between somewhere here. Okay. So first of our logic point is, first point is, first point is the difference between the time between these two, A and B, should be one hour. So mod of Y minus X should be at least less than equal to one hour. The difference between the times at the at which they leave should be less than equal to one. Or second logic, kya ho sakta hai pe? second logic is, uh, when leave kar rahe hai, for example, x. So, x ki value, limiting value kya hai? It will be greater than or equal to 1 or less than or equal to 4. Yehi ho sakti hai. And second is similarly, same goes for y. Because b person is allowed to leave at 1 to 4 pm. So, y ki value bhi yehi hogi. 
So from here we will get the answer and I am going to show you in the next slide. So first of all I am going to open this inequality from here y minus x should be from minus 1 to 1. Now we have two cases here that is first is if I take x on this side so y will be greater than equal to we will get this as x minus 1 and the second equation will be y will be less than equal to you can say 1 plus x or x plus 1 you can write here. Now I am going to draw these two and I am going to show you the restriction and I am going to show you the sample space also using these two conditions. Okay. Now let's say this is our x axis y axis and I am going to draw here y is equal to first of all I am going to draw y is equal to x minus 1 here. So y is equal to x minus 1 I am drawing without the inequality and then I am going to put the inequality. Okay. So y is equal to x minus 1 you consider next equation you consider y is equal to x plus 1. So slope is 1 1 for both of the equation one of them is intercept is uh, minus 1 for one of them intercept is plus 1. So first of all I am going to draw x is equal to 1 this restriction. So x is equal to 1 is somewhere here you will get a straight line like this. This is x is equal to 1 this line. Next line is x is equal to 4 somewhere here. This is x is equal to 4. Next line is y is equal to 1. So y is equal to 1 will be here. This is y is equal to 1. And next line is y is equal to 4. So it will be like this y is equal to 4. Now I am going to mark all the points. So let's say this is a point. This point is 4, 1. B point is here. B point is 4, 4. Let's say this point is C and this point is uh, 1, 4. And this is the point. Uh, let's say D point and D point is 1, 1. Now I am going to draw these two lines. So these two lines. Before drawing these two lines, I want to show you this will be our sample space. Okay. Because in between in this in this, if you take any point here, let's say I am taking here any point, let's say uh, one comma, let's say one point five, if you take. So one comma one point five is accepted. So here there will be points where the constraint is A is going to leave at between 1 to 4 and b is going to leave at between 1 to 4. So you'll get all the coordination of x and y where they're going to leave 1 and 4. Now this will be our sample space because if they leave on this given time they're going to reach at uh, the down x and down y. The condition is they should meet in between we're going to take a specific points. Okay so infinite points are there we're not going to take infinite points we're going to take area with the help of area. So this whole area this square is our sample space. Now to get the required uh, favorable cases we're going to draw these two lines. So first line is will going to pass through y is equal to x plus 1 is going to pass through uh, you can say 0 comma 1 here. It will be something like this here. It will be something like this y is equal to x plus 1 and the second line y is equal to x minus 1 is going to pass through as you can see this point 1 comma 0 because x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0. So it is going to pass something like this. It will be like this. Both of them are parallel lines because slope is 1. Now I am going to calculate few points here. So few points here I am going to calculate. This point is uh, on this line y is equal to x uh, you can say minus 1. So on this point here the this point lies on the coordinate y is equal to 1 line this coordinate will be 1, y coordinate will be 1. If y coordinate is 1, x coordinate will be 2 here. Similarly, let's call this uh, let's call this point as D here. Let's call this point as E here. So E point lies on y is equal to x plus 1 line and it is lying on the line x is equal to 1. So when you put x is equal to 1, you will get y2. Later on, I am going to use this point, that's why I am marking. Let's call this point as DEF. So y coordinate on this point is fixed, 4 x coordinate will be if you put 4 in this line you will get x coordinate 3. Similarly let's call this point as g. So g point will be as you can see here uh, y x coordinate is fixed that is 4 y coordinate I can get it from the line. So if you put 4 here then you will get 4 minus 1 3. Now we have all the points which is required to calculate the probability here. So if you take any point within the sample space that is the square within the two parallel lines this area which I am shading here if you take any points if you take any coordinate that coordinate represents x will leave at particular time y will leave at particular time. So if you take this area if you take any particular point that will be the solution for the given condition they are going to meet in between. 
तो आप एक कोई भी एक पॉइंट ले लीजिए यहाँ पे एंड दे गोइंग टू मीट इन बिटवीन तो दिस एरिया कैन आई से प्रॉबिलिटी विल बी प्रोपोर्शनल टू द गिवन एरिया सो आई कैन कैलकुलेट द प्रॉबिलिटी विद द हेल्प ऑफ एरिया हेयर एंड दिस एरिया रिमेनिंग एरिया आई नीड टू डिलीट फ्रॉम दिस एरिया आई नीड टू डिलीट फ्रॉम द टोटल एरिया आई विल गेट द फेवरेबल एरिया तो फ्रॉम हेयर आई कैन कैलकुलेट द प्रॉबिलिटी द प्रॉबिलिटी विल बी इक्वल टू probability of this event a will be equal to first of all i'm calculating the probability when they going to meet in between that will be the total area total area of the square is as you can see the length between x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4 is i think this length is 3 similarly the length between y is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3 this is also 3 so i think 3 into 3 9 this will be the area of our sample space now we going to calculate the area of our favorable cases when they going to meet in between any coordinate you take in between the so total area minus area of two triangles that we going to calculate so p of a here p of a will be equal to 9 uh, whole divided by 9 minus area of two triangles which two triangles i'm going to take here the first triangle i'm going to take here is a d and g and plus i'm going to take one more triangle here that is triangle Uh, you can say c e and f let's calculate this so p of a will be equal to 9 minus half into base into height so half i'm taking common base let's calculate base so base of this first triangle a d g will be i think 2 to 4 distance will be this is 2 and this distance will be i think here the distance between 3 and 1 that is 2 so 2 plus 2 2 into 2 you will get 4 here plus Next for the next triangle, I think this is right angle here. The base of this triangle will be uh, the distance between one and three is two here, and the distance between y coordinate of the point C and E is, I think here that is two. So again, this will be four here, whole divided by nine. So from here we'll get the answer as probability that they're going to meet in between is, uh, I think this will cancel out with eight and will give you four nine minus four that is five by nine. So five by nine is the probability that they're going to meet in between. I want to calculate the odds. Odds of meeting uh, in between. That will be p upon one minus p. That is success upon failure will give you the odds. So here you'll get five by nine, and here you'll get one minus five by nine. That is four by nine. So meeting in between the odds are five by four. So five by four will be our final answer, and that will be all.